Today I'll talk about using Volumio to set up a multi-room, multi-source audio setup for whole home audio in your home. Little background first. In my house, I have multiple rooms that have speakers in the ceilings. And so this is just one of the rooms in the living room. Not great photo quality, but as you can see in the ceiling there, I have a speaker. These speakers are actually hooked up to wall sources, a nice wall mount thing, just like a you know a light switch. This one uh, happens to be an OnQ, which is made by Legrand, I believe. This is an, an older system, but it still works fairly the same. Uh, easy setup, you just have a power, mute, uh, plus or minus volume, and then the key is they have these sources. Local, one, two, three, four, and intercom. Today I won't talk about the local or the intercom, I'll talk about the one, two, three, four. What are the one, two, three, four? Where are those sources coming from, that, you know, audio sources? Well, in my audio closet on the wall, I have sources. Uh, you can't see the one over here, but this is source one, source two, source three, and source four. They're just using an analog input, using stereo left and right RCA cables. So originally, I just had one source. I just duplexed my TV output and put it into one of the sources. So if it's the morning, I'm getting you know up and rounded around, I want to brush my teeth, I don't have a TV in the bathroom, but I was watching the TV, watching the news maybe to see what was going on for that day. I can go in the bathroom, brush my teeth, uh, turn on this you know the wall um, for the sources in the bathroom, go to source one right here, and it would play whatever is playing on the TV. But I want to be able to go to multiple sources and just say, okay, on the wall mount, I can go to on this wall device, I want to go to source two and have something else. Maybe I get tired of listening to the TV. I want to listen to some sort of audio. But I didn't want to have to always go online to switch that around. So I wanted something to always be playing on two, three, and four. Uh, this is really useful for when I use the audio that's out in my garage, because, you know, a lot of times when I'm in the garage, I'm all dirty, there's not a computer around, I just want to go up to the wall, hit source over, and find something that's playing on that source. So, how do I do that? Well, I need to hook in three more sources. So, I would have to have three other devices. Now, I can get a little bulky, you could have three radios, I guess. Um, three audio players, three computers with all your... You know, files on them for your downloaded songs. It seemed a little bulky. And so I decided to go with Raspberry Pis. So the Raspberry Pis, I had three of them. For this, for mine, I just used a double-sided tape to hook, hook them together. You don't even have to do that. They each have a 3.5 millimeter out. So I just used a cable. For this demonstration, I just used one cable because there were so many cables going around, it was hard to see things. So this is a 3.5 millimeter male and then this goes to two left and right RCA male um, cables that go for stereo. And then you could use the other two to hook into three and four. Again, I just left them out for this so we could see better. Just the power there, those audios, and then the wireless cards. Now I needed something to play on those. So I started doing some looking around and I found something that was called Volumio. Go to Volumio, and it's a audio player for Raspberry Pis. And so it'll play MP3s, Waves. It's you know DLNA compatible, AirPlay, Spotify, web radios, all sorts of stuff. And so I downloaded that. If you download, there's one specifically for the Raspberry Pi. So I downloaded that. I've already downloaded it, so we won't take the time. And it comes down with a zip file, I unzip it, and it's an image file. So for that image file, I needed to get that onto the Raspberry Pis. There's multiple tutorials on the web on how to get an image onto a Raspberry Pi. Long story short, I just used a Win32 disk imager. I found that image that was on the desktop, IMG file. I then took each of those individual micro SD cards out of the Pies. I had a adapter that allowed a micro SD to be a regular SD. I had a S regular SD card slot on my laptop. I put it in there. Once I put it in there, I was able to select that device and I just 
hit right. The key is I used the same image file for each of the three micro SD cards out of each of the three Raspberry Pis. The same exact one. I did all three of them, put them into the Raspberry Pis, powered them on. Before I powered them on, though, I actually had to originally hook in three actual hardline Ethernet cables and hook those into a switch that hooked onto my network so they could get IP. Why? Because originally those devices didn't know the password to get on my wireless network. I had to set that up. So I had to have them hardline originally. Now, if you have those all set up, you have them hooked into the hardline that are actually on your network, everything's done correctly, you can actually just do volumio.local. And it will show a decent web interface for the Volumios. What's really nice is once you get multiple ones, it actually shows the multiple ones down here. I've named them, but these multi-room devices, they call them, actually correspond to those three Raspberry Pis that are each are running Volumio. Now, first, I wanted to get them so they didn't have those hardline Ethernet, so we just were over wireless. So I selected each device, went to the settings, went to network, and what I did was I first found the wireless um, networks, uh, mine is named POP, I hit connect, I typed in my password, you know, hopefully your network is secure, and then it connected to wireless, and you had an IP. I went one step further because I like to know what's actually on my network, and I turned off DHCP and actually gave them each an IP. I wanted it to be 90, 91, and 92, but you wouldn't have to worry about that. That was extra. You could just leave it on DHCP as long as it got an IP address. I, you have to then do that for each of the three devices. You'd select the next one, go into the settings, go to network, do the same thing. At that point, then you can, it will look like this. You can unplug each of the wired connections. The wireless ones will be selected. You might have to uh, close down your browser and reopen it, but everything should be wireless. You don't have to worry about that. Then it's just a matter of deciding what you want each of the devices to play. You can also name them appropriately. I named mine sources. They're actually Raspberry Pis. The reason I did sources, if you'll remember, these are hooking into the sources that go onto the wall and they're named source and then one, two, three, four. And so I wanted two, three, and four. So I named them source. Well, you can name them whatever you wanted to. You select the uh, device, the Raspberry Pi, you go to settings, go to system, and this is where you name the source. Why did I name them this? Well, uh, one, I wanted to play classic country, one, I wanted to play oldies, and one, I wanted to play contemporary country. I'm a country fan, obviously. At this point, you can select the device, go to Browse. If you have set up to like do a NAS to get your own audio files, if you have an external hard drive to have your own audio files, you can do that. I decided to just do web radio, and so I did a web radio, did it by genre. I went to country, found a country station, and selected that. You know, here's you know, we'll do a '60s one here, and you can select a station. Some stations, you know, you can find one that's in your local area, or just find a good one you like. And so for each of them, I went in to select a specific station. This one happens to be named uh, Nanamio, Nanamo. And so um, this one actually, uh, depending on the station, some of them send out more data. This one actually sends out the name of the current song playing. And then this one doesn't even send out the name of the current song or the station. It just, uh, this one actually is, sel is selected to a station. You have to take my word for it, but um, it does have it. So then... Basically, each of those Raspberry Pis is selected to a certain station, and it's always playing in the background. So then what I can do then is have them each hooked up to one of these sources in my closet. Again, I left them off now so I, you could see things. Into 2, 3, and 4 from each of the Raspberry Pis. We can say 2, 3, 4. And then when I'm out in the garage or I'm um, in some other room, I can just hit the source over to 2, 3, or 4, and it will start playing that. So this is um, using Volumio to do a multi-room, multi-source audio setup.